What's going on my fellow engineers? I am back again with another episode of Pokemon Ruby playing on, uh, well, Game Boy Advance, you know. Anyway, uh, last time we went through the Pellwork Woods, went through Route 104, and now we are in Rushboro City. I actually just went into the Pokemart, bought some items, I bought a few potions, antidotes, I bought an escape rope as well, because I think I might need that soon. I'm not sure if I get one right away. But I figured I'd just buy one just in case. And there is one area I do want to go to before we go to the gym. I think we get like a quick claw or something. I don't think it's here. No, yeah, it's definitely well, maybe. It's not you. But give me the Pikachu. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good point about nicknames. When you come up with the nicknames, try to come up with something original and it's actually maybe funny. I think this is actually where I want to go. Cutters have. Oh, that's one. Oh, no, not yet. Well, actually, I don't think so. I think you go to the Cutter's house and they give you HM1 for cut, but I think it's after you get the badge. He won't lose your Pokemon. You're obviously a skill, skill trainer. No, wait, don't say I where. I can tell that just by looking at you. I'm sure that you'd be able to capable of putting this HM to good use. No need to be monster shy. Go on, take it. Ah, okay, so you get it. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it right away or I was going to have to wait. Alright, it's cut. An HM move is one to be used for Pokemon out of a Pokemon battle. Any Pokemon that has learned cut can chop down trees of uh, the trainer has, an, has earned the stone badge. And yeah, like a team, an HM doesn't break after one use. The only bad thing is, after you use an HM, you can't remove the HM. So that's kind of a negative. However, I'm like 99% positive we're gonna need it. So we're gonna have to use it. And I think Slacken actually might be the best Pokemon to use it on. It's a normal type move. Slack is normal type, so we get that stab bonus, and that'll be pretty good for him, so. Don't think this is the area either. Every Pokemon has a special ability I can use. Okay. I apologize if I'm talking really quick as well. I'm just like, trying to figure out where was the damn school? I think it's this one. It's one of the ones that, yeah, this is it. I'm pretty sure you get like a quick claw or something like that here. One of these buildings I'm positive have it. I think it was a school. Talk to the trainer here. Uh, teacher here, sorry. Uh... Hello. Hey, walking around. Soon as you don't say you get a little taste of my quick law. But there are not your good student will evident from the way you use this item. Thank you, quick law. Where you put away the quick law in the item bag, pocket, whatever. Okay, now any Pokemon that's super slow. Let me see if I can find a slow Pokemon. So it's 11, 19, 7, 7, 16, 9. Actually, slacking might be perfect. Because slack off can get really slow. So basically, you have a chance to actually attack first with Quick Claw. So having someone equipped it that's super slow, like Slacken for example, would be perfect in the beginning. So we're gonna stick with that, and let's go to the gym. I'm so, so excited to do this gym. Finally, finally a gym battle. Let's do this thing, yo. Devin dude. Oh, uh, not Devin dude, but yo, uh, yo, how's it going? <laughs> Listen, my friend, would you like to become a champion? I'm no trainer, you're not me, but I can sure give you a winning advice. That's settled then, we'll aim for the Pokemon Championship together. It's your job as a trainer to collect gym badges, am I right? But gym leaders aren't pushovers. And that's where I come in. I'm here to provide expert advice. Rock Sand the gym leader is a user of rock type Pokemon. The rock type is very durable, but you can, can't stand water type and grass type moves. Come see me after the gym leader. Well, go for it. I will, thank you. Alright, so, oh wait, yeah. Oh my god, it's my first Pokemon. So, grass and water type Pokemon will rock Roxanne. The only downside is the only, we have one, and Lock isn't exactly the highest level right now. So, I'm gonna get Bullet Seed to try. I'm, I'm actually curious if we're gonna do a lot of damage right now. Okay, it's not doing that bad. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Like, later on in the game, you might have a problem <laughs> with uh, ground type or rock type Pokemon that are immune to grass type moves at least physical grass type moves because they have such high defense stats that's when you get hit by a super effective move and it's not really, really do too much damage <laughs> but lock's perfect for this gym high physical attack right now bullet seed maybe just one or two of these actually might do it yep there we go perfect yeah lock is absolutely perfect for this gym so whatever Pokemon you get, whether you're playing Sapphire or Ruby, the C, C Dot or Lotad, will just pulverize this gym. Even if you start out with something like a Torchic. Obviously, Torchic might not seem like the smartest option in the beginning, even though it does evolve into Combusken. 
which is a fire fighting type. So let's get the half. Either or, it just depends. Like, if you get Torchic, you just have to level up to, I think it's like 16, I believe, evolves into a Buskin. And then it's like 32 or 36 for it to evolve into Blaze again. So just keep on using. We're just gonna stick with Lock. So keep using Lock. Keep using Bullet Seed. That's our go to move in this gym. Level 11, awesome. Nice experience from this one. I did not mean to do that. Well, the good news is, if we actually manage to live, Chidi should go down. <laughs> like, if. Alright, so this is not gonna do much damage. Oh, it might do like half. Let's see. Oh, wow. Good luck. I wasn't sure if that was gonna do a lot, but it did a lot of damage. Alright, Bullet Seed, finish it off. Should have done that to begin with, but my fingers were going way too quick and I accidentally did bite. <laughs> so that happened. Should definitely get up to 12. I don't know if we get to 13, that'd be close. Yeah. Not close. <laughs> But we, we, we got up there. Alright, so let's go back and heal up. I don't want to use a potion or anything like that. Save it. You never know when you might need to use it. You always want to play it safe. Get that Pokemon Center heal up. Thank you very much. I would love the rest of my Pokemon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I still want to train Molob. I was thinking about Poochiana. I'm like, I have not used it once. I can really lordy, I still want to hit leveled up as well. I want, I kind of want to get a beauty fly, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it forever. I think just getting beauty fly would make me happy at this point. I don't know, I just like having it. So anyway, gym leader time. Just make sure we're good. So we got lock. So he's 13. Uh, otherwise, it's only up to these two. If lock goes down, then we have to rely on Sunny D. Even though Sunny D is a fire type, so we kind of have a we have a big disadvantage there. Otherwise, no one else can really help other than maybe Slankin. Lordy would be great with physical defense, but we're relying on the first two for this gym battle. Hello, I am Raxian, the Respiro Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a gym leader, so I may apply what I learned to Pokemon Trainer School and Battle. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? Alright, so here we go. Gym Leader Battle against Roxanne. Roxanne. She a dude. Yeah, so you can tell her Pokemon are a lot higher in level compared to everyone else you've fought. As of recent. So lock, come on. Let's get like five here. It'd be awesome. I think four is de definitely needed to Ah, oh, it's so close. Alright, you dude. Oh, perfect! Alright, so we should be able to take him out no problem as long as Bullet Seed hits next. Oh yeah, potions. <laughs> we need another three here, come on. One. Come on, give me three, two. Oh, come on! Every time, it always happens. It always happens. So like you, when you need to get three, you only get two. When you need to get two, you get two. It's guaranteed to hit two, two, two times. But I need three here. Two. There we go. Okay. So two actually did. I wasn't sure if it was. I knew it was gonna be close. 58, level 13. There you go. See how quickly we leveled up here? Ooh, Nature Power. That's actually kind of a good move to have. It's like a Metrodome. Type of attack varies depending on the location. So let's. Hmm. I didn't say what I want to get. It gets my special attack up. I don't have any special attacks. Let me get rid of Harden. I guess. Kind of like Nature Power. It's kind of it's like an interesting move to use. So it's like um kind of like a metronome, but it depends on the area you're in. So in this area, I think we only get like swift or something like that. Don't remember exactly, but I'm not gonna use nature power here. Uh, bullet seed, let's do it. Rock throw, Ugh, hang in there. This may have been a good time to use Harden. <laughs> right, come on, lock. Yeah, this is one thing I was really concerned with. This no pass is tough. Plus, we only hit him twice, which sucks. Oh, rock throw miss. Good. One, bullet seed. One, two, three. Like it might be good that I should just do three. Next turn I should be able to take them out as long as it's, yeah. As long as I don't get credit here. Ooh, okay, good. Critical to ord flinched. I think I can take him out if I get three. 
One more, one more, one more, one more. Oh, come on! This game despises me right now. Oh, I can't. I can't use a potion. He's probably gonna use a potion too. It sucks. This way is rock throw. Oh, wow. Really? Alright. Well, not gonna use another potion yet. Alright, bullet seed. Oh, no potion. Come on. There we go. We win. Whew. Locke is the man. Girl. You go, girl. Like, Locke, you are the girl. <laughs> Alright, we beat her. So, I lost. It seems I saw much to learn. I understand. Pokemon League's rules state that trainers are to be given this if they defeat a gym leader. Please accept the official Pokemon League Stone Badge. For the 1500 yay! We win! We win! And Locke's evolving! Why could he be evolving into, I wonder? You never know. Does it, does it have a nickname? With the nickname that I provided with this nickname? I think it does! It's evolved! Congratulations, your lock evolved into Nuzleaf. Awesome. That would be nice to have had during this gym battle, I think. But we didn't need it. We good. We good. Alright, Stone Badge heightens the attack power of your Pokemon. It also enables them to use the HM move cut outside of battle. Please take this with you, too. Alright, TM39. Okay, what's this? Uh, Rock Tomb. It not only inflicts damage by dropping rocks, it also lowers speed. If you use a TM, it instantly teaches the Pokemon the move to a Pokemon. Remember, a TM can be used only once, so think before you use it. AKA Bullet Seed, for example. <laughs> Alright, so that's Leaf. Uh, Lock, I should say. All good. Awakens are quickly from sleep, so that's a good ability to have, I suppose. Can't get knocked into sleep and wake up the next turn. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, this looks pretty good right now, but we're gonna switch it around. We're gonna use... Well, I should use Sunny Dia, but I'm gonna use Slacken. I kinda wanna get, uh, uh my Slack, my Slacken, my Slack off leveled up a bit. I meant to go back. I wanna talk to you. Whoa, what a breathtaking victory. My cheering must have worked. Great, check your boat trainer card. The stone badge you guys should be properly recorded on it. In other words, you've climbed the first step on the stairs to the championship. It got to feel awesome. It does feel awesome. And as you can tell, what he meant was my trainer card right here. See, we got the first one. And we still got another seven more to go. But we got plenty of time. Get out, get out of the way, out of the way. What? Oh, Team Magma. Wait, please. Don't take my goods. Not the Devon goods. Oh no! Alright, let's go heal first. Gotta heal up. A little beat up, but we're, we, we should be okay. We should be able to manage somehow. Let's... Let's heal. Oh, good god. Would you like to rest? Yes, I would love the rest. That was a fun gym battle, though. Gym battles are always fun. The next one shouldn't take too long to get to, either. Because I think all we have to do next is get the Devon goods, do a little bit of talking here and there, and then we go straight to the next gym. So I know early on you just go gym to gym to gym to gym with no problems at all. Exploring the cave is like walking on the road. You never know what wild Pokemon will appear. It's full of suspense. suspense. Um, I was thinking, I'm like, was there a trainer down here I could battle? Wasn't sure, but it doesn't look like there was. I know up there you can go to later on, but you can't go up this area yet. This is the area you go to later on. Well, you come back to later on, so you can come back to Restboro if you ever need to. So right now, this area is useless. We gotta go right where you saw Devin. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in the Pedalburg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Magma. I, ha I have to get the Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Bye, Devon. Eh. Uh, yeah, let's go. Right, 116. We can get new Pokemon here, new trainers to battle. Let's... We don't have a mile over right now. I just want to make sure... Oh, Slacken, that's right. Yeah, let's get Slacken up a little bit. So, oh, hello there. My Pokemon rule, check them out. Okay. What, what you gonna have? We gotta use Youngster Joey. <laughs> Youngster Joey. <laughs> Alright, Slacken. Let's use Cut. Not sure I'm gonna be slowing around this first turn. I think it's the second, yeah. Alright, so not attacking next turn, unfortunately. Slack on the bow. 
I'm like, come on, quick claw. <laughs> Alright, cut again. As you can tell, our attack's pretty high for a level 6 Pokemon. I mean, even, like I mentioned, we do get the stab bonus, so that's always helping out as well. I just won this battle because, oh, well, I think I won. Depends on how much Growl did. Yeah, I won. Good. Just gonna growl and tail whip your way to victory. Definitely gotta switch out here, though. Uh, yeah, let's go s just swell. Let's do it. Macha. Probably one of my favorite fighting Pokemon. Maybe it's just more of a nostalgia sick, but I love the Machop series of evolving Pokemon. Machop, Machoke, Mach Machamp. Awesome. Yeah, it's not doing much damage. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. I think I can do this. Come on. Almost there. One more. Oh. It's okay. You did okay, buddy. Let's go to Sneaky. Santa Pucciana, but you know. Super effective and all. I don't think it'd be that good. All right, so you're down for the count. Gotta get Sunny D stronger though. Can't just slack off with it. <laughs> oh, hilarious! All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I should grab that Pokeball. I found a repel. Actually, I might find that trainer too. Let me do that first. Uh, yeah, slack off, slacking, whatever. I think it'll be okay. It's bulk Pokemon. What we gotta worry about bug Pokemon. If it's a bunch of worm pulse, no problem, unless they use poison thing and they actually get poisoned. But otherwise, we should be just fine. Uh, cut attack. Oh yeah. Damn. Thought I'd do more damage. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's see how you cut again, I guess. I wanna get the full experience. But I know it's gonna take a few more turns than I want to. Come on, ah! And they're slacking. Stop loving around and attack! Ah, oh, that's what I was worried about. It's okay, I guess. Let's cut one more time. Good. Definitely switching hats. Got to level 7 at least. So that's good. Encore! Ooh! That's actually good to have. Good move. Alright, so let's go with. I should be Sunny D some more again. Want to get some of my higher ranked level Pokemon stronger. Let's do Ember. Plus, we can kill them really quickly. So, we'll faint them, I should say. There's no killing a Pokemon, so. It's all about the faints and, and the stuff like that. Still so cool. Give me a nice amount of experience, though. Fighting a bald Pokemon? Always nice experience. And down goes Silk. Alright, so we got 121. Level 14. Perfecto. Yeah, I, th I thought you had me, but you didn't. You didn't have me at all. <laughs> well, anyway, give it a second. It'll stop, don't worry. There you go. Let me give it a second. Generation 3, when you're poisoned, you faint at the end. Unlike the newer generations where it's like you're poisoned and it's like, oh, I just gotta wait until it hits 1 HP and then it'll be fine. It'll cure itself. That's too easy. Anyway, uh, I think we're actually going to end the episode here. So I just want to say thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all our fun stuff. Next time, we're going to get the Devon Goods back. We'll probably head to the new gym. Don't think we'll be able to start it, but we'll get close to finishing it. But we'll stop here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all for the next Pokemon Ruby.